So here we are, I have the DYS Lightning 220 here. We're going to uh, fire it up, have a fly, see how it goes. I'll use the DVR, we've got this crap ass antenna here which probably isn't going to help much. Hopefully the DVR footage will be okay. Haven't got a recording camera on here. I realised after I made the last video that if you put your Mobius or your GoPro on this platform on the top and you have a crash, it's going to rip your video camera out too because the video camera is mounted on the same platform. Not good. I don't like, as I've said many times before, I don't like FPV cameras mounted on the GoPro or the Mobius platform. It's not good. Anyway, let's plug it in, see how it flies. For the value of the fan, the fat sharks are worth it, trust me. Right, so, going to rate mode. Armed. Yeah, I'm getting black and white only on here. Don't know what's going on there. Do I remember that one's black? This is actually terrible. I'll have to land because it's just, there's no colour and I'm all fogged up. Is that on the road? Is that on the road? Yes, I'm not a pilot at the moment. Yeah. Can't see a thing now because I'm all fogged up. Oops. Yeah, it's down. Yeah, I'll end it. <laughs> okay, so I've just come back from flying this thing. Um, I was really impressed and really disappointed at the same time, if that's at all possible. Why am I impressed? As I suspected with these 2205 hollow shaft motors, this thing is like a freight train. It's like a rocket. It's like a catapult, like a cannon. It just I did a visual line of sight punch out and actually I almost lost sight of the damn thing. It was so damn fast with a um, 1300 four cell graphene battery on there. It was just gone. Whoa, where'd it go? You know, <laughs> by the time I saw it, cut the throttle, um, it took a long time to bring it down. It's just so powerful. It is incredibly powerful. Fantastic. So then I put the goggles on and it all started going pear shaped because, first of all, the antenna, as I said, it's crap. It's really, really crap. I was getting dropouts within 50 meters and 100 meters. It was, I was getting crappy. And more importantly, there's something going on here. On the video signal, it started off with a, when I arm it, there's a little bit of patterning on the video. It doesn't show up so much on this VCR footage, on, on the DVR footage, because the DVR compression tends to smooth out some of those patterning artifacts. But as the battery went down, the patterning got worse. And I'm running a four cell pack, it's a good quality four cell pack, a graphene as I say, um, until the point where uh, pretty soon it was almost impossible to fly because the patterning on the video signal was so bad and as I say it looked much worse through the video glasses than it does on this DVR recording and I had to land because with any kind of load on the battery any kind of um, you know power coming out of those motors the picture I could not have flown I could not have raced with it because it was simply you couldn't see where you were going it was it was horrible it was crap so there's something wrong with the setup on this thing. I don't know what it is, but it's just, it's not good enough. Really, there shouldn't be any noise on that video signal, any noise at all. And I'm not talking about noise caused by, uh, you know, the antennas. I'm talking about noise that's being picked up by the video transmitter or the camera and just dumped onto the signal feed and it's just, it looks awful. So, yeah, has to be looked at. I don't know why. Another strange, strange thing I noticed, I don't know why this is, but on my SkyZone goggles, it only comes out in black and white. Now on the DVR, as you can see, it's colour. But on my sky zones, it would only show as black and white. Initially, I thought, well, maybe it's because this might be NTSC or something. But then I realized the sky zones work with NTSC or PAL. So having a different video standard shouldn't matter. It should still be color. My sky zones get it black and white. The DVR gets it in color. And the Turnergy Cyclops also gets it in color. So there's just some strange incompatibility between the video system on this machine and the sky zone goggles that causes the loss of color. I don't know what that is. It's, uh, it's a peculiar coincidence or something, but it's, um, if you've got SkyZone goggles, you may not get colour out of this damn thing. So, hmm, lots of things for me to investigate on this. Lots of things just not quite right that need to be sort of worked out. Why is it doing this? So I'll be doing that in a future video and uh, trying to get the damn thing flying to its full potential because it has a massive potential with all that power. But at the moment, it, you can't use it because you can't see where you're going. And, uh, yeah see what happens and if, if you can see where you're going you can only see in black and white and trust me it's damn hard to fly in black and white i just i realized that the color is a huge contributor to being able to see what you're doing if you go black and white it's really really difficult certainly over the area i was flying so there you go that's what i found so far now i'm gonna to have to do another part to this video but in the meantime if you've got comments if you've got questions stick them on the um you know in the place the doobly do provided by youtube see that ave reference um, and I'll do my best to answer them, address them. In the meantime, thank you for watching and stay tuned because there will be a follow-up.
I'm going to try. I definitely have to find out what's wrong with this thing, why it does what it does. So in the meantime, spot you later. Bye for now. Gone. How was that? Pretty quick, eh?